Ah, I trust that you are well. It is another Monday. Uh, we got through last week and hope you had a, a really nice Good Friday. And I know a lot of you have a tremendous Good Friday. Some of y'all had It's next Friday. So, oh, it's Palm Sunday. I get confused. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I get confused, obviously. Well, um, I trust that you are. everyone's planning to have a great week. Um, for a lot of you, it's going to be a short week because you do have Good Friday off this Friday, right? Yes. It's this Friday, right? This Friday. Okay, so some of you all have a short week and, and maybe have uh, little vacations planned. You got out of town, you got, you know, you got spring about, break. You have spring break going on. Uh, yeah, you know what? That sounds, spring break sounds great everywhere else except Florida. Because a lot of people come here and act stupid and kill themselves jumping off balconies. So, Doing silly stuff. And you know what? And, and, and the beaches that are normally calm and nice are filled with drunk 23-year-olds. Yeah. Um, so spring break isn't something that we are, that we in front of go, woohoo, great <laughs> spring break. We don't go to the beach on spring Thank break. Thank you for your money. Now go home. <laughs> yeah. So it's like that. All right. Um, our, 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 our subject, um, uh, material this morning is, um, something that, that hit here in this house uh, a couple of years ago and, um, are affecting some of the people that we know who are about our age. Um, you know, we, we stand and, and we hear the vows and one of the vows that that's in most ceremonies, even in modern day ceremonies, if you don't go with the whole obey stuff, we've got, a, we have a lot of, we have a lot of impact. We have a, 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 a lot of reaction to the submissive wife thing. Um, we didn't attach it to the vows where, you know, where we have to say obey because y'all get crazy about that. Yeah. Uh, but we will. But um, that goes both ways. I mean, they're saying love, honor, and obey to not just the wife, but to the spouse, to the husband as well. Yeah. So, it, so, but part of those vows, even in modern day vows, is um, in sickness and in health. Um, and I'll, 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 I'll tell you what, through personal experience, I can tell you, not much more puts pressure on a relationship or on a marriage than when one of the spouses is ill. I mean, really ill. Like close to death ill. Or have a chronic illness that continues. Um, it can put a lot of pressure on, on, a rela- on a relationship, period. Marriage, friendship. Uh, you know, a lot of times you find out who your true friends are when Boy, you yeah. are really, really sick. So it tests all relationships, even your job. It tests your job. You find out on your job, you know, how sincere they are about whether they really care for you when, you know, when you're working them 40, 50 hours a week, they, they, they good with you. But when you your spouse is in the hospital and you can't come to week to work for six to eight weeks, how how much do they like you then? How much do you mean to the organization? Um, because it, because those kind of things put and Debbie's right they put stress on every I mean every relationship you have a chronic illness or a a sick under death sort of illness will um, put some stress on on what we're talking about you know on, on all of relationships. 2014, I had triple bypass surgery. Uh, I was in the hospital for 18 days. 18 days, and then and didn't and that was in early in January, and didn't go back to work until March, right? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Mid March. Mid March. I was sick, y'all. <laughs> I was sick. I have a seven and a half scar a scar on my chest to prove it. I was sick, and um, I will say that what I learned in that is who my friends were, and I learned without a shadow of a doubt, and I've said this before. Uh, I know that my that my wife and my son love me more than I could have even imagined, because of how they protected me and took care of me um, through the illness and through the recovery. And I'll tell you what, triple bypass recovery is worse, almost worse than the illness. I'm telling you, except the illness will kill you. Um, the recovery, the surgery, the, is the, the surgery is like the worst butt whipping you've ever taken in your life. Um, so it takes a long time to recover, both physically and and and. And mentally, and my family was there for me. 
Uh, I also had some friends that showed up at some weird times. Yes. <laughs> During times <laughs> when I particularly was protecting him, uh, you know, from people coming in to see him. To um, my nose and my in such a serious manner some of his friends were so they were protective too that they wanted to see him they were determined and they did when i was in ico and i was in a coma for three days i'll tell you what <laughs> somehow they got in i don't know how uh but anyway so so that kind of pressure on a relationship is huge and when we say in sickness and, and in health i don't think a lot of people realize what that can turn into. Mm -hmm. um, so um, we're going to talk about that. I'm going to play a, a small clip and we'll talk about that when we get back. So again, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. Yay. Yay. And um, write in the comments um, if this has happened to you, if you've been in, been in a similar situation. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back. We appreciate you being here um, this morning. In sickness and in health, um, this isn't just something that we came up for ourselves. We have um, we actually have some people that, uh, that that we know who are going through a chronic illness and um, the pressure that it puts on the relationship, um, financially, emotionally, mentally, and um, this is one of the things that you have to. That I don't want. I don't think people should think about and 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 just uh, all the time. But no. but no, it it will happen it happens. because we are human, and um, as you get older, your body does things. It's going to react to the way that you are taking care of it, the way that you're not taking care of it. Um, so we and and because of the heart. Uh, congestive heart failure runs in Willie's family. You know, um, we consider that he is a miracle walking around because three generations um, of his family at the age that he was at passed away at my, that point. My grandmother passed away like at 51. My mom passed away at 53. Um, so if I can just get out my 50s, woohoo! Yes! <laughs> Yes, baby. Looking forward to that. Uh, yeah. So it is. Um, it is. It it it, 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 it. it. It's a big thing uh, when you're um, when you're going through that kind of thing. Um, and 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 the sad part is that a lot of times marriages don't make it through illnesses. illnesses. Um, I have a actually after I got out of the hospital and I went back to some some meetings. Actually, talked to somebody that was a good, that was a good friend of mine who had gone through the very same thing, and his marriage didn't survive. I was like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> I just can't. I, I mean, because my because my experience was so different. Um, as you know, what I felt closer 
to my family than ever. And his wife left him. It was, and, 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 and he, he wasn't angry. I think he said it was just, it just became so much. Because when you, because when you have congestive heart failure and, and when you, and all those things happen, it's a lot. It really is. A, it's it's a very lot. frightening and stressful. And I'm not going to say she did the right thing, but I can understand. I, understand. Like, I, I definitely can understand like if you are, <laughs> if you are, 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 and then I'm not saying she's weak, but if your marriage isn't on a firm foundation already and, and, and you uh, kind of know who you are in Christ and you, you know, you, you are pretty strong already. And I'm not saying that I'm superwoman or anything like that, because it took me through some hell. I'm going to be honest. Um, and I'm, I feel sometimes that I'm still recovering from the, the pressure and the stress that it, it put on me and, and my son, you know, we, we, we went through something. It, nobody knows the things that he and I went through that, that morning, um, early, early that morning when we had to rush him to the hospital. When they thought I was going to die. And, um, and my heart stopped. His heart stopped and he died in the emergency room. Paddles. Oh, he died literally in the emergency room and me and my son are in what they call the quiet room um, waiting because you have seen on television shows or you may have lived it when you're in that quiet room and they the news when they come out and they say we weren't able to, you know, survive them. You know, it, it's quite scary. I mean, I was in a hot mess that morning and i can understand why uh the average person would run yeah it was um it, it was quite a it was quite an ordeal um and at some point on youtube maybe i put up the uh, my uh, my story on um on my childhood maybe i'll put up the story on um that adventure for me through there uh, and maybe Debbie will put up her her story, her her side of that adventure, because I think it's important that people understand that people do go through this all the time. I mean, when when you guys were down in down in the waiting room, there were, I mean, there were other families going yes. through exactly the same stuff, mm -hmm. exactly the same things. Now, some of them with good outcomes, like me, and some of them without good outcomes. We left a lot of families there after their surgery, and their loved ones were not waking up. They were still per se alive but they hadn't come woke up after the surgery and after so many days you know the doctors want to to kind of give up when when they don't wake up after uh so many hours yeah i think they woke me up and then they walked me around yes <laughs> awful. it was awful all right mr lawson get up i'm like what 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 no, no, now you got to go run a mile. What? No. It was, it, it was, it was brutal. It was absolutely brutal. Yeah, so there are, there are um, situations where you have to understand that, that there, there is going to be that kind of pressure. Now, it's, it's pretty much the, at the top of the, of the pressure spectrum um, for a relationship, even more so than a bunch of other stuff. And it always goes back to what I always say, which is more important, the relationship or the thing you're going through? Or you are you going to actually live up to what you said you were going to in your vows? This is sickness. When everybody's healthy and feeling good and losing weight and looking all slim like we did when we were in twenties, going to the beach, actually taking pictures of ourselves in our swimsuits, it's all good, right? Um, but as time wears on and and and, and gravity hits. Um, are you are you going to be as good? Are you going to be as supportive? Uh, a lot of you know what a lot of men have to understand. You know, a, a lot of men in in you know in this culture deal with women who are having who have breast cancer, who, who get breast cancer. Now we've had a we had a scare. I don't know, ten years ago, something like that. About seven years ago. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? I've talked to men all the time that um, have had who've had wives who've had double mastectomy so they're not physically the same person that they married physically 
how much does that mean to you? Now, you have to understand also that the, that your wife or your girlfriend or, or whatever is going through a whole bunch of stuff when that happens too. Um, are you going to be that support? Are you going to be that supportive guy that you said in front of all those people that you were going to be? In sickness and in and health. In, in sickness and in health. Um, when you're when your physical body looks different, when your physical body doesn't operate like it used to, uh, when t when time comes a knocking and disease comes to stay for a while, um, people get cancer, um, again, congestive heart failure, all sorts, all sorts of pressures um, that c that come, and the pressure like um, we we have some um, some, <coughs> some some friends who's whose husband is in the hospital in another city. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was bad enough that I was in the hospital down the street. Not but, not far from here. But when you are miles and miles away from your spouse and you've got to continue to go on, like, you know, regular life, that it's it's tough. So I, I, I was studying over this last night and I was wondering about, you know, when is it okay to divorce somebody because of sickness? Is it okay? You know, like you were saying about your, your friend who's, when he was going through it, his wife left him. You know, um, do you have the right to do that? After you've committed yourself legally and verbally, you know, saying that you would be there in sickness and in health, you know, um, and then I have heard of some people, you know, they may, they, they still support their spouse, but they can't live with them. They just, they just leave and they, you know, check on them every now and then and stuff, but they can't handle the pressure of just being in the moment. Um, I don't think you, sh you, you can, uh, when you have committed yourself to saying that you would be there for that person, may because in, in Willie's instance, he has no, no brothers and sisters or anybody else that can it's just them oh, yeah. can can come and take care of him you know if if i should leave um i think he has some serious friends that would would stand by him i do have some good friends but um family members i mean you can't just leave that is heartless i feel to leave somebody when you know they have nobody and they're sick they need help so, you know, marriage ain't no easy game. You know, and I know people will say, well, you know what, when you get sick like that, when you have heart disease, you put yourself in that situation. And that may or may not be true. Um, but it doesn't negate the fact that when you're sick that way, you're helpless. Mm -hmm. Helpless. When you can't get up out of a chair by yourself. When they send you home with adult diapers, because you're still wetting yourself as a 54-year-old person, you are helpless. Um, when you can't clean your own wound, um, it, 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 it was tough because it really puts you in a, it really puts you in the place of a child because you are extremely helpless. And, and, and I know the pressure of that must I understand that the, I don't know, but I understand that the pressure of that must be huge. And especially yes. when the man is sick, because the man has been, you know, is not supposed to be the weak. I know, I know, it, I, I know it's 2018, but the man is not supposed to be the weak one. We're supposed to be the stupid ones that when we get an arm chopped off in the backyard, we, we say, ah, oh, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. Let me hold Put me some on. dirt on it. Put, rub some dirt on it. <laughs> yeah. But when you're still peeing on yourself, life changes. Life, life changes so are we going to be are, are we okay with those situations are are we built are we built for them now i think all this goes back to what what, what deb and i talked about a while ago it all goes back to foundation stuff mm -hmm. how do you start this thing how are you building this thing because if and and and, and did mention a few minutes ago if the foundation isn't strong then when you put real pressure on it it's going to, to crumble crack. it's going to mm -hmm. crumble um, so, th so that's why it's so important that you look at the other 10 videos that we've done so far 
and look at and, and look at the foundational structure of your of, of your relationships because that's going to hold you up and hold you through the times quite frankly that suck that are horrible another thing and we haven't had to deal with this but i thought about that last night about um it is it different if they if if it's mental illness rather than physical illness you know um as you get older you know some people have alzheimer's um they may go through uh depression you know um that's that's an illness that i have dealt with you know being the the depression part and quite frankly it uh sometimes willie doesn't know what to do you know (laughs) you it's not a physical thing, so you can't say, you know, here's an aspirin or here's this and all like that. But um, you're just emotionally not there. You know, and when somebody is strong and they're, you know, giving out orders like I do sometimes. And, uh, <laughs> and, 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 you know, you're, de- you're depending on them to make some decisions to help with this, to help with that. And they are just not there and 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 that's part and and that's part of these uh, the thing that people call emotional emotional abandonment sometimes because um but again if people are ill or people are fighting illness you said you know what and and, and, and what we said early when we started this whole thing we're going to say some things that people aren't going to necessarily agree with and that's okay you don't have to you know mm-hmm. laws that you got to sign up for everything that we say um but my thing my, my deal is that you said that you would in sickness and in health, you, you didn't say, "Well, unless you go crazy, <laughs> then, then I gotta go." And you lose your mind, uh, I gotta go. Uh, and I, I, when you I, can't get out the bed because you just you just don't feel like it. Well, you know what? And um, so when you say that in, in sickness and health, then you have to mean that. You have, and that's just now again, that's just me. Y'all can, y'all are going to. So some of y'all are, I know women especially, are rolling your eyes and sucking your tongue. I know. I know. I know. But that's okay. That's okay. You can. I, I, whatever. Um, but my my thought pattern is that you said that you were going to be there in sickness and health. And uh, no matter what that health is or, or that sickness is, you're going to be there. And I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying, uh, and we say all the time, we've said this 14,000 times, marriage is not for whims. This, is, this, this can be tough. Isn't it?